Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by baby-things.org. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about baby things, baby stuff, baby needs, baby care, etc., etc. Anything that has to do with uh, baby. Uh, if you're expecting a baby or you're first-time parents, this will be um, the video that. Um, you would like to watch now before we get into the uh, uh, details or the topics uh, we'd like to invite you to visit our site at baby-things.org and subscribe to our newsletter if you go to our homepage you will see a subscription form you can fill in your name and email and at the same time pick up a copy of um, how to raise a smart baby where you can get some tips on raising a smart baby so we hope you will um, pay the site a visit and pick up a copy for yourself now for those of uh, you who are expecting your baby for the first time um, especially the mother uh, or mother-to-be uh, your mind is probably filled with uh, many, many things that you would like to get for your baby. Anything from nursery to crib, bottles, milk powder, diapers, trollers, etc. etc. Uh, indeed, when you think of your baby, a new family member, a newborn, uh, they can be, uh, uh, there seem to be endless amounts of uh, items that you would like to get for your baby now before we rush out to the um, shopping mall it's a good idea to think about this you know um, most of us who have been uh, been through it you know uh, once or twice we we realize we learn from from it uh, it is wise to really think about what you want versus what your baby needs okay and there are many wants and, and there are many needs uh, what you want to get for your baby may not be needed by your baby so um, instead of um, shall I say uh, wasting money uh, like some of us had been in the you know uh, in the past uh, you realize that it's, 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 it's a good idea to, to really sit down and think what your baby needs. Because for those of us who have been through it, we realize that a lot of things that we had bought or you know um, obtained for our baby were never used. Either the baby outgrew the sizes or uh, has gone beyond the stage of using some of the stuff that we had bought either too early or or too much okay so it is it is wise is it's not an issue of money it's um, it's an issue of essential versus non-essential and also the timing when you buy it now so it is wise for you to make a list of things that you think you want to buy and then you would uh, categorize or split your list into two portion uh, uh, categorizing into them essential as well as uh, non-essentials and then you can make a wise decision uh, what to get first and when to get them now uh, where to start the best place to start is probably the nursery you know because this is where your baby will spend uh, most of the time to, uh, you know um, Particularly baby, you know, they sleep long hours and you want to make sure that they have a very comfortable and a cozy and safe place to rest and sleep. Um, you know, when you start from nursery, you can think of many, uh, many things that you probably want and need as well. So from there, you can start uh, making your list and, and you know, um, buy the ones that really need first 
So actually, when there is really a lot of things that you can get for your baby, you can name it, you know, uh, it's anything, you know. It seems like the world of things you can get for your newborn. Okay. It can be milk powder, a stroller, baby bottle, pacifier, baby clothes, diapers, a carrier, cedar. Now, uh, uh, there is a you can see a breast pump there. You know. uh, this is really one of the items they put it there because it's one of the items that you may not want to buy first. Uh, some of our friends, uh, from what we heard, is especially the the not all you know some of the first time mother you will find that they don't have enough uh, breast milk production. So uh, if if you buy it before before the baby uh, is born and then if you are in a situation where you don't have enough uh, breast milk production then the breast pump will be sitting there uh, unused so um, so it's really probably this one this item you want to wait until you know your baby is born and and gauge whether there really is enough breast milk production because if you have a, a can I say oversupply or rather an abundant supply of breast milk production you do want to pump it out rather than waste it because you pump it out you can put it in the uh, you know uh, your fridge or you know um, um, take care of it properly and then your baby can can drink it well actually we actually heard some of the husbands actually drink some of the oversupplied or, or you know the, the surplus milk <laughs> well is that is that good i guess that is plenty of nutrients in the mother's milk well anyway um, <clears throat> so there really is a whole bunch of things you wanted to get for your baby but again, we like to emphasize that as experienced parents, you want to make a list. Don't grab anything that you want. Grab things that you, um, your baby needs first. And then if you think that some of the uh, non-essential things will actually um, enhance your baby's life, then by all means get it, okay? So, um, once again, we'd like to really invite you to drop by our website at baby-things.org and uh, pick up a copy of the How to Raise a Smart Baby. So, we really thank you for watching this video and um, there are a lot of other articles and, and uh, baby-related topics on our site. Uh, we invite you to drop by there and, and have a look. And thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.